Recently arriving on Netflix, Special is a quirky, rather charming and certainly offbeat comedy series starring its creator, Ryan O'Connell, who also wrote for Will and Grace as a gay, disabled man living with cerebral palsy, which he is in real life too. Hey, hey, focus. Say that for Grindr. I love that you think I have enough self-esteem to be on Grindr. And at the start of this droll little show, episodes run only about 15 minutes, some shorter, he's determined to challenge himself, be more independent. But just as he begins to joyfully experience this new life and cut the apron strings with his doting but eternally concerned mother, played with wonderful comic empathy by Jessica Hecht, more misfortune befalls Ryan. He's hit by a car before starting a new job with an online magazine called Eggwoke, which uh, peddles soulless clickbait for millennials and is run by the narcissistic boss Olivia, played by Marla Mindell as a kind of frightful refugee from The Devil Wears Prada. But the accident serendipitously changes Ryan's life when he reveals this calamity to his new co-workers. They assume the intern's lack of coordination and odd sense of balance is simply due to being in the accident and celebrate their new colleague for his courage in overcoming his physical injuries. He's thrilled. Their misapprehension requires no amendment as he can merely allow them to start appreciating him as a person from scratch with no need to patronise him for his illness. Suddenly, the condescension vanishes. He's no longer the cerebral palsy guy, just someone who had an unfortunate run-in with a car and is a bit of a hero for having survived. I think he is so wonderful and so clever and that he does within the series what he's not prepared to do in real life. You know, he doesn't want to be acknowledged as a cerebral palsy no. guy. <laughs> but the other thing that he's done is write really wonderful female characters. His co-worker, Kim, played by Poonam Patel, she is, is wonderful. Mm. She is so great. I love my the mother, Jessica Hare. Superb again, but yes. It's, but it's also, you know, within that little tiny 15 minutes, he has worked so much thematically. The mother, you know, being terribly dependent on him and then suddenly, you know, peering out the windows at the new guy next door, <laughs> suddenly <laughs> realises that, you know, maybe she can have a life for herself and it's, you know, her guilt about not about letting him down. Mm. You can imagine he's got a mother like that too. But, mm. you know, she's, she's lovely and wonderful and there's a real generosity of spirit Oh, totally. In, in, the, in the whole series. And, and a great I, deal of wit. And I absolutely would give this four and a half stars. I think it's brilliant. I will give it four and a half to it. It's, it's quite superb television. I was in the closet about being gay and then I was in the closet about being disabled and now no more closets. Diversity hire. You got anything? <laughs> I'm kidding. Straight white men are cancelled.